Right, what's going on guys? I'm about to show you my favorite ways on how to hook fiddler crabs. If you don't know how to hook a fiddler crab when you sheep and fishing, there's many different ways, but this is the way that works for me and this is the way I became got <clears throat> this is the way I'm more successful at uh catching sheephead. Um every time I do this it seems to work, so I stick with it and it works for me. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get into it. Oh, check out these Christmas lights. It's about that time. I put my jig heads. The two type of uh, sheep head jigs I like to use is of course, they're both made by Birds of Prey. First one is a knocker jig. I like mine in a quarter ounce. Sorry, I'm focusing problems. But these are what I had on hand for right now. The other ones are my kayak. These are called the knocker jigs. I like fishing these in deeper water. Deeper water, these actually shine the best. If I'm fishing shallow water, anything 10 foot or less, I use these with these I use these, and these are what you call swing jigs. So it's pretty much a egg weight. What it is is just an egg weight with a small wire hook. This is a size one octopus hook, just like this. And this size right here is an eighth of an ounce. This is a super shallow water, so it kind of floats down. Pretty much looks like a crab that's attached to a rock. You fish this right next to the pylon. All right, guys. So. The first jig I like to use, this is what you call a swing jig. I use this, this, this jig right here. Let me focus this. I use this jig right here for fishing shallow waters. Anything under like 10 feet and below, you know, six foot, seven foot, eight foot. It's mostly the shallow bridges when the sheep it is. And there's two ways I like to use these. One way, I like to take the filler crab. Yes, these are live. Remember what I said? Take that big claw, always on your filler crabs. Key point, rip it off. You don't need it. And I will be using these baits, so I'm not killing these in, in vain. Now, this is dirty water that you can get away with this, but when it's like super clear, you're gonna have to do another trick, which I'll show you. Is you take that hook and you come back right here. See that point right there, the little belly? And you slowly poke it through and you work it in and, in and out, in and out. And once it gets to that top shell you poke through, you want to work it, work it, work it, and you don't want to go too hard on it because you will kill the crab. And bam, you pierce it just like this. The crab is still alive, and he will, you know, go around and you drop it straight to the bottom with it just like this. That's the way you want to do it. Now, the bite's tough, and this is most of the time, like nine out of ten times, is the way I'm hooking crabs, filler crabs, or if unless it's one real big one. Is, see that back leg right here? Bing! Take this small wire hook. Now, another key point I want to mention is when you hook filler crabs, you want to use a small wire hook. That's what Brother Prey's use. They use the um, small wire hook. If you anything bigger wire like that, once you hook them, they will die instantly. But I like to take that hook, go through the back leg, and come back to the other side. And what that does is that's going to cover a long shank of this octopus hook, like this, covering it up, just like this. You still have that point showing. It kind of looks like a leg, and that will work too. But I like to take it a step further. I can take another crab. So right here. Hey buddy. And he took it the same way I showed you the first time. Just through the bottom. Like so. Just gonna get it good, get it going good. And you wanna work it slowly back and forth. Break through that top shell, like so. That way, that way the whole hook is covered. You like you have no exposed, like it doesn't look fishy at all, I guess the fish. This crab is still alive, you can see it's still moving. You drop it down like this. It looks like these, these crabs are like onto an oyster or a barnacle. It sits on the bottom just like this. Keep the line tight. That crab is in a defensive posture. You know, he's right there, fish come by, grab him. He won't feel the hook. Crunch, crunch, crunch. You feel the tail, set the hook. Bam, just like I did with my finger, see? Works just like this. You sit on the bottom, tension. He grabs it, pull up, hooked. If you don't get any bites in the bottom, you've seen the, you've seen the sheep head, you know, up in the top water column feeling. Let's reel it up right next to the pond and slowly. And you will eat it every time. But that's how I hook them. And we'll go on to the, the knocker jigs, which are my top favorite. And that's how I like to use a hook my swing jig. This is my go to. I'll probably do it this way more times than any. Crab's still alive. This one's kind of dead since you go through his whole body. Let's sit on the bottom. Now, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use all these baits, so I'm not just killing these crabs in vain. But of course, birds of prey. This is the knocker jig. 
This is like one. This is like my go-to for, like I said, let me fix the camera. This is my go-to when I fish in deep water, like big bridges, like the bridges we have here, Three Mile Bridge, Bob Sites, this is deep water. This knuckle jig is my go-to. Anything pretty much over 10 feet water, I'm using a knuckle jig. And I usually hook the crabs one way with these jigs. And it's pretty much the same way. Take your line, fill the crab. And these hooks are a little thicker, so this one you hook right here, well, my, most likely would die, but I like to hook them just like this. Do that leg right here, the back leg, and go through his whole body. Like so, slowly working it through. And that way, you can see him, he's on the base of the hook. That's just like that, covering up the hook. Then I take one more crab. This is another key trick, a key, a key point on catch a sheep head. That big, that big claw, rip it off every time. So I take that. Oh, he's getting away. Get away! And I do the same thing. Go through his back, his belly, and I slowly, I don't push it through hard, I slowly work it through. And sometimes I just leave the point poking out just like this. And this is how I use the knuckle jig. See how that crab's still alive? He's ready to pinch still, look. And I drop that down and let it sit on the bottom just like this. And that crab right now is presented in his defense posture, which will alert pretty much any predator fishing around. And they're gonna come in. Chomp, 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 chomp. Set the hook, set it, set the hook like a bill dance. And you got a sheep on usually a drum on. And that's how I like to hook my filler crabs. I hope this video helps. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I appreciate, appreciate everybody watching this. And uh, good luck, good luck on the sheep head adventure. And if you like to use these jigs like I do, I will leave a link in the description. These guys make amazing sheep head jigs. And I also have a discount code I'll, I'll put down below for 10% off each order. Oh, my drink.